your boy Skitty coming at you with the five games that you should be looking forward to playing in 2024 and 2025. We're going to start off with number one, Silent Hill 2 Remake. I'm not going front. I am a huge Silent Hill fan. I didn't play all of them. Silent Hill 2 Remake, it was announced back in October 2022. The gameplay involves the third person view and also has incorporated stealth which is good because now monsters also respond to gunfire. So be careful how you shoot in these monsters because you don't want to get jumped by nurses and you don't want Pyramid Head to come through. We all know how that dude was a problem on the previous Silent Hills. Coming in at number two, we got that Call of Duty Black Ops 6, baby. Co-developed by Treyarch and Raven Studios, brought together with Activision Publishing. This will be coming out for the P4, P5, PC, Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, Xbox Series X and S. The 21st installment of the Call of Duty game series. Black Ops 6 will be set in the 90s, dealing with the Gulf War. So I'm really interested in their depiction of how the story they're going to tell dealing with the Gulf War. You'll see familiar faces such as Adler and Woods, which will bring on a new team and players will take on a new a new name. So it's no Bell, you'll be Case. So I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna incorporate what they did with Black Ops Cold War, where you put your own name and put your own personalities to help with the development of the character in the campaign. Now on to the multiplayer. Now I'm not going front. I'm not really a multiplayer guy, but I might give this a little shot. Not, on, not only are they coming with 16 new map, but they are bringing in proximity chat. There's also a new feature where instead of just, you know, stealth killing people, what you can use them as a body shield. Yes. Gameplay also introduces a new omnidirectional feature, meaning that you can sprint, slide, and dive in all directions. Whoo-wee! You already know people's gonna be going crazy, but they can't do too much jumping because you know Call of Duty banned that spam jumping, make it more realistic. Now, next we're gonna talk about on this Black Ops 6 is the zombies mode. Well, they will be incorporating two new maps, but they will be continuing with the Dark Aether story arc from Cold War. That's another thing I love about this Black Ops 6. It's a direct sequel. You know what I mean? Even though it's probably like a few years later down the road, it's a direct sequel, not, not just with the campaign, but with the zombies mode as well. Um, you'll see familiar faces as Maxis, Peck, and Weaver. And not only that, it seems like they're going to be linking up with none other than the Zombies OG character himself, Edward Richtofen, who is voiced by good old Nolan North. The man, the myth, the legend. Now, with the Zombies, they're bringing back the gobblegum system that they had on Black Ops 3. You know, they'll still have the Percolas, They'll still have the pack a punch, uh, pack a punch machine where you can level up your gun. But I'm definitely interested in the zombies mode. Black Ops Six all together, the new omnidirectional, the proximity chat during multiplayer because they didn't have proximity chat in Cold War multiplayer. So it's definitely it. Now, for you Xbox players, the early access begins August 30th and ends September 4th. For everybody, the open beta starts September 6th to September 9th. And for also everybody, like myself, you know, it comes out October 25th. So get ready for this good one because y'all know it's going to be a bang. Coming in at number three, this is a shocker and I didn't know anything about this until recently considering that you know me and my boy lab are friends of the franchise i'm talking about alien alien rogue incursion the first alien vr game and i'm not gonna lie it looks super good 
coming on the MetaQuest 3, PSVR 2 for the PS5, and Stream VR for our PC players. Players will take on the role of Zulu Hendrix. No relation to Jimmy. An ex-Marine who takes on a mission with her sentient AI Davis 01 to explore the infested research facility known as Gemini Exoplanet Solutions. Now, unlike Alien Isolations, which is one of the greatest alien games of all time, instead of just dealing with one xenomorph, you'll be dealing with multiple xenomorphs spawning according to the player's actions. So be careful how you move around this game because you might encounter more than one at the same time, which would be crazy. Now you're going to be using classic iconic items such as the pulse rifle and the motion tracker and so much more. I'm definitely looking forward to this to see how immersive you're going to be uh, since it's the first alien VR game. This game was announced back in April this April that just passed, and it will be coming out December 19th, published by, published and developed by Servios. Definitely looking forward to that banger right there. Next on the list is the Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater. It is the official remake of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Now, the reason why Konami chose to remake Snake Eater is because it's chronologically the first story. It's an origin story of Big Boss, but before he was Big Boss, he was known as Naked Snake. Now, even though it still has a lot of the old mechanics from the original, Konami did a lot of revamping of the camouflage system. So falling leaves can stick on you, your body, like when you're crawling in the mud, your body can get all dirt, like you'll have dirt stains. They also implemented a real time physical damage system where cuts and bruises that snakes receive will be permanently reflected on snakes body. So even after treating wounds, you'll have scars and bruises on snake with the updated survival viewer mode. This also means that snake's gear will have bullet holes and tears as well. Delta will have two distinctive gameplay styles to choose from. The first style is the new style of gameplay, which is similar to recent titles such as Phantom Pain and Ground Zero. Well, while still incorporating the third person free moving camera of Metal Gear Solid 3, the HD edition. Other is known as the legacy style, which is similar to more of the original controls from the OG Snake Eater with an overhead view with a fixed camera. Even though it was announced May 2023, there's still no hard confirmation that it's coming out this 2024. Konami has stated that it's tentatively set for 2024 tentatively meaning that it can change and be pushed back to a later date now i'm hoping just like everybody else is hoping after we then saw that gameplay trailer and that trailer itself we're gonna need it to come out this year we i don't think we, we waited long enough it's been it's been long enough coming in at number five this game has definitely caught my eye and it's called exoborn Coming out for the PS5, PS4, PC, Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, and the series X and S. Exoborn is developed by Shark Mob AB, co published by Shark Mob and Level Infinite. It's a third person extraction shooter set in a post apocalyptic US that has been ravaged by, get this, extreme forces of nature. Now you'll be in an open world full of warring factions and other players, hostiles or friendlies. So you're definitely gonna get like a divisions type vibe. You'll be salvaging and looting to help upgrade your rig, your exo rig, um, help you craft items and weapons to help you survive. Now the gameplay is crazy. I was watching the trailer and uh, during the trailer, there was these two guys that were fighting in a tornado. 
which was wild. Now they did have some gameplay on this trailer where you see that your player will be encountering, you know, fights with again, other hostile players or NPCs. But during these fights, you can get caught up in severe lightning strike storms, crazy tornadoes, basically whatever mother nature decides to throw at you. We're just going to call it pure elemental madness. This game was announced back in December 2023 and will be coming out 2025. So definitely looking forward to these games. Tell me what games you're looking forward to. Probably some game, most likely some games not on the list that you're looking forward to, or you're probably looking forward to some of these games on the list. I'm going to tell you the three games that I'm really interested, like really, really interested in. Black Ops 6, Silent Hill 2, Exo Born. Those are my top three games that I'm looking forward to. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Unlimited Max. This is your boy Skitty with the games. Peace.